Good day, Andrew. Andrew. Okay, yeah. thanks very much. Ian, thanks very much indeed. Now then, uh, here's something to think about next time you're getting cash out of the machine. Uh, Rob Pitton. It could actually get easier quite soon because here at NCR's offices in Dundee, they're working quite hard on the cash machines of the future. This is the town's biggest employer, and the kind of things they're developing is sort of things like machines that work on voice recognition. This one, for example, works on iris recognition. So they're working pretty hard. It could be quite a transformation on our high streets, and it's being created here in Dundee. NCR's been here 50 years. It began by making cash registers. Today, though, it turns out 54,000 cash dispensing machines a year. But it's also got one, or rather two, eyes on the future. Stella is NCR's iris and voice recognition concept ATM. So as we go through a transaction, she'll recognise my iris, and then she'll go ahead to um, give, give me cash during a transaction. Please look straight ahead. Everyone's iris is unique. This machine can identify you by scanning your eyes. It works through glasses, sunglasses, or contact lenses. How much cash would you like? $80. Did you ask for $10? Yes. Slight gremlins there then, but for the sake of the demonstration, we carried on. Use the cash to spend. Thank you, Hannah. Your transaction is complete. Back on the shop floor, though, and it's the immediate future that's occupying the workforce as the company prepares for the introduction of the euro across the continent. This has been a five-year planning exercise for NCR. We've obviously worked on the physical redesign of the cassettes. Uh, we've worked on the testing of the notes. And uh, we've uh, worked with our customers in workshops and planning for euro readiness. So there's been a lot of work done here in the Dundee uh, plant, but also out there in Euroland. 90% of the UK's cash machines are made here. The firm has 50% of the European market. It's now spending £25 million on a new research and development centre in Dundee as the company fights to stay ahead in a fast-changing